What is up, AC and Insiders? Francesca here, Lights Camera, Georgia. We have some exciting news for students looking to get into the film industry right here in Georgia. Now, there will soon be a Master's of Fine Arts in Film program at the University of Georgia. And come 2020, students will be able to take classes about film in their first year, then live at Pinewood Forest, which is the go-to haven for creators and storytellers during their second year next to Pinewood Studios. And then they'll work on projects hands-on. You heard it here. So here now to tell us more about this program, which is the first of its kind. I am talking to Jeff Stepado, the director of the Georgia Film Academy. Hey, Jeff, how are hey. you? Thank you so much for being here. Step a cough, right? I want to make sure I get that right. <laughs> uh, also, Lee Thomas, deputy commissioner of the Georgia Film Music and Digital Entertainment Office. Thank you, Lee, for coming Thanks, and being here with us. And also, we're speaking with the dean of UGA's Grady College of Journalism, Dr. Charles Davis. Hello, Hello. Dean Davis. This. <laughs> Thank you for being here, all three of you. This is really exciting because at the A scene, we're constantly telling people about their next, their next opportunity. And my question for you, Lee, is, well, it's about time. I mean, 45,000 people are employed here with TV and the film industry here in Georgia. So Georgia just is the perfect spot for educating people, right? Absolutely. I mean, we've seen the growth in the film industry over 4,000% uh, since our tax credit passed. And that's been the bi biggest criticism is not having enough workforce. So it started with, uh, you know, the Georgia Film Academy, and now we have the above the line jobs, which were the things that I think everybody felt like they had to go to New York or LA. I went to New York. If this had been there in the, you know, when I went to school, yeah. I'd have saved a lot of money at NYU. But um, I'm very excited about this program. So. It's a very exciting program yeah. because, I mean, this is, like I mentioned, a first of its kind program. Sure. But I want to go ahead and speak to you, Jeff. You know, you have really done so much with the Film Academy, okay? And what opportunities um, have many people received from the Film Academy that maybe the film program will get into later? So the Film Academy has been working uh, very hard for the last three or four years mm -hmm. to make sure that we meet our high demand needs in the film and television production arena. So we've been training Georgians and putting them to work in the so-called below the line trades, grip, electric, lighting, working on our sets. We've had 6,000 Georgians now go through the Film Academy, which is really remarkable. There's no program like this anywhere in the country, really anywhere in the world. Point of pride for our state. Everyone should be proud of it. Speaks to the partnership oh, yeah. and how we, how we roll here in Georgia. We understand, though, at the Film Academy that along with Jobs for Georgians and leadership with our academic institutions, we have to make sure that we have a permanent and sustainable entertainment industry mm -hmm. here in our great state. To that end, we've always been committed to making sure that we train our writers, our content creators, screenwriters, television writers. So we've been talking about this and thinking about it for a while. So two or three years ago, when the Georgia Film Academy and the Grady College started having these conversations, we envisioned a program, a world-class program, where we could train our state's content creators. And here we are today, ready to talk about it. And we are talking about it. I hear this has been three or four years in the making, Dr. Davis. It has. Really? Um, and it's an incredible partnership between Grady College, Franklin College of Arts and Sciences, the Georgia Film Academy, and Pinewood Forest. Um, so when you think about how many different people are around that table, it's a testament to the collaborative um, potential yeah. in the film industry around the state of Georgia. It's also, I think as Jeff and Lee have rightly pointed out, this is the other side of the coin. If we have below the line workforce, and the Georgia Film Academy is doing an amazing job of creating a, a below the line workforce, this is the above the line workforce coming on now, and this is writers and showrunners and producers and directors, and it's all about, at the end of the day, creating an indigenous filmmaking mm -hmm. ecosystem in the state of Georgia. Georgia filmmakers making Georgia films in Georgia. Give me some context when it comes to an example of what my master's program is going to look like. I'm from ATL, so I'm very curious uh, on this one. So again, the first year, and then the second year, you, all, you actually lived there at Pinewood Forest. So talk to me about, about kind of what that even looks like. That's right. Um, firstly, I, I want to accentuate the, the really good news, which is this program is being offered at base state tuition. So there's no uh, exclusive premium put on this program. You're paying the same graduate tuition you would pay for any other graduate degree product in the system of Georgia, which is extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at MFAs in film around the country, we're going to be uh, a third to a half wow. of the cost of that. So in year one, you're going to be at Grady College at the University of Georgia working at, at, in our college, basically filmmaking 101. Um, we're going to teach you how to dribble before you can shoot, right? 
So you spend a year in our facility working on the basics of cinematography mm -hmm. so that you know how the equipment works, how to use it, how to write, how to light, how to shoot. And then we will take you over to Jeff um, ah. in year two, and they will be resident at Pinewood Forest working at the Georgia Film Academy's uh, really, really nice location down in Fayetteville. Um, where they will be rubbing elbows with all of the filmmakers who are making film down there. And let me ask Jeff about that. So what type of hands-on experience can they be looking forward to as you are helping create the top-of-the-line filmmakers and creators here in Georgia? We are delighted here in Georgia to make the motion pictures which come here, and we're going to keep doing that. That's job one for the Georgia Film Academy. Make sure we turn out enough workforce and crew for our productions here. In addition, we are very excited about helping to now start making the work of Georgians. So we envision an environment where students work together collaboratively, along with the below the line trades, making the work of content creators, screenwriters, television writers, storytellers that are coming out of this program. So we envision this environment where we work together to make the work of Georgians. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, we wanna see that work produced and we wanna keep the content creators, the creative class, the showrunners here in Georgia. What are we missing, Lee? Because I know that you are literally like the encyclopedia uh, when, it comes for, when it comes to all things film and TV here in Georgia. Like, you know what makes us tick. You know what, what big challenges we face. What is missing when it comes to, like, because again, we created this because there was clearly a need because we need to educate our students here in Georgia um, when it comes to the film industry. But what challenges are we still facing as a state? You know, I've talked to many people in Hollywood and, you know, we'll, they'll, they'll use our locations, but then they'll go back and, you know, produce the film maybe in Los Angeles or New York. What are we missing? Sure, uh, Francesca, I mean, definitely you're right about they shoot here and then they take it back. And we, we do need visual effects houses. But the thing that we run into more than anything is workforce. I mean, we've gone from a place of trying to sell the state and what we have here to really, um, you know, trying to reassure producers that we have enough workforce for them when they come in. So I really think that this is going to be the thing that they see the commitment that the Georgia Film Academy and this new MFA program are doing to ensure that they have the people that they need and also that they're, we're creating our own projects. This is such an opportunity, and it begins 2020, yes. right? It begins all, all 2020. How many applicants are you expecting? We have not we've just announced this today yeah um we today have <laughs> we've had over a hundred inquiries just from people who heard about it somehow um including some from china uh <gasps> most recently so we we think our challenge will not be in finding applicants <laughs> our challenge will be in managing growth i think because this is going to be a incredibly popular program. Well, that brings a very interesting point in because people who are from Georgia or maybe they made the move here specifically for this industry, they're wondering, does that heighten their chances versus say someone internationally applying to the program? Well, certainly it's a portfolio driven program. So if you've done work in the field, it's going to be advantageous mm -hmm. to you. However, we have structured the curriculum in such a way that we can accept people from a variety of different backgrounds. So you need to have a film background, right? Um, if you're a great student who's done some really interesting things for a while and you want to reinvent yourself as a film student, we're still very open to seeing those applications as well. And so, of course, I have to ask for my students watching, Lee, what are some, and also, uh, Jeff, what are some opportunities that the folks who are watching this interview can start to grab the experiences so that they can put it on their resume so they can prepare for a program like this? Well, I think they need to keep watching the A scene because I think you <laughs> roll through it pretty much every morning, right? Yeah, 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 There's yeah. always opportunities. We do. I mean, we have a film hotline that's up there, um, you know, our web at uh, georgia.org. Um, but yeah, you do, you do a great job of saying what's out there. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Yes. And we similarly <laughs> encourage students to watch the AC and, and, and watch your important work, Francesca. And did I mention that we take applications at the Georgia Film Academy as well? Okay. We have 25 partner institutions. You can go through a USG institution, a Technical College System of Georgia institution. You can also come from the general public and take our courses as professional education. Great way to get the training that you need to be a filmmaker, a content creator, to work in this industry in any way. Kylie, we're doing so much. Georgia is just at the, the top of it all. My final question for all of you, why is it so vital for the people watching this interview to get involved with the film industry, not stray away to Canada or the UK or parts of India? They need to stay right here in Georgia. Why is it so vital to keep all of our talent homegrown and right here in Georgia? I mean, there's never been more opportunities than there are right now in the state of Georgia. I mean, if you're going off to New York or you're going off to L.A., 
it's crazy because there are more opportunities here than there are in either of those markets. We have everything you need. I mean, there's everything you need now in the state of Georgia. There's no excuse. Um, we just removed the last That's one. Right. This program <laughs> is the final piece. We now have the full and complete ecosystem of the entertainment industry here. And this is really the intent. You know, we intend to build the full business here, a full, complete, homegrown entertainment industry for Georgia. And that's what you all are doing. Thank you so much. Again, the 62 credit hour program, completely remarkable. MFA from UGA. Uh, this is an MF in, MFA in film. And where can they find the information for this website? Film.uga.edu. <laughs> all right. You guys heard it here first. Head on over to that website. And of course, we have a link if you just want to go to www.theacene or www.11alive.com slash theacene. Folks, we have all the information that you need on this brand new first ever of its kind program. All right. You just watch the A-Scene.